In the great game of hockey, you have a handedness. In baseball, there's switch hitters and pitchers that can go either way. As far as I know, there aren't any ambidextrous NHL players. A hockey stick can have two possible curves. One for righties, and one for lefties. I mean, I guess you could use it the other way around. Your normal shot would suffer, but you'd have a fire backhander. Also, there's straight blades. If those even exist anymore, you can probably find one somewhere. I know mini sticks used to come like that, and we'd use the stove or oven to warm it up enough that it could be bent. Thinking back, that's probably a crazy safety hazard. Anyway, today on NHL 24, I am going to assemble two all-star teams. One team will consist of all players that shoot right, the other will consist of all players that shoot wrong. I will then put them head to head in a best of seven playoff series to see who emerges victorious. For the purpose of this video, I use the same goaltender for both teams, mostly because which way you catch doesn't determine which way you shoot. For example, I shoot the puck right, but glove left. Not sure if that's weird, but I have a friend who knows a right-handed hockey player that golfs left, or maybe it's the other way around, but that's absurd regardless. Best lines was used. If you have a problem with a player not being there, take it up with Jabroni. Let's get this thing started. It is time to get this series started. Game number one between the righties and the lefties. The righties with a good chance off the draw. The shot from the point is saved with the blocker, but the shot from point is not. Little short side action, it's one zip. Rido's looking to add as Eichel is quite literally able to step by his guy. Feeds Willy who sends it home and gets caught in the net like a fish. You didn't even do the dolphin dive, Willy. What's going on here? Not a lot to report on in the second frame. Chance for the lefties, but the netminder keeps them at a goose egg with a nice glove stop. Right-handed boys get a chance of their own, but there are no goals in the second period. It remains 2-0. Mitch Marner would be the first to strike in the third period with an absolute howler out of Halak. Falcon punching it in after the initial stop. It won't be that easy, however. The lefties decide to actually start trying. Victor Hedman breaks the ice for his team in the slot. A minute and a half to go, right-handed players on the power play, but they allow a short-handed goal to bring this back to within a single goal. Victor Hedman trying to carry his squadron on his spine. Pasta gets the last laugh with an empty net goal to secure the win for his team. A ballsy final push from the lefties falls short. They now trail 1-0 in the series. Game number two, here we go. Left-handers want to start this game strong as they left it to too late last time, and they'll do just that with a cheeky doorstep backhander out of Rantanen. Another chance for them as Rasmus spots Matthews completely unnecessary deke, but a great stop keeping this a one-goal game. All lefties in this first period, time about to expire, shot thrown towards the net, but again, the insurance marker is rejected. Both defensemen gonna get absolutely run over at the blue line. Then we have a timid scramble for the puck. Pointer comes out with it, and a clear path to the net results in a mediocre five-hole attempt. Then the lone goal scorer, Miko Rantanen, is going to trip up Charlie McAvoy and send the right-handed squad to the peeper. On said power play, righties break out of their zone with some solid passing. Puck is given from Carlson to Nady Max, and Captain Nate Dio Double G ties this bad boy up. Hughes springs Chucky with a horrible pinch from seven. Guys in no man's land, but Halak bails him out with a little poke check action. Chuck back at it again with the white vans, gives Leon an absolute donation in the slot, but the biscuit did not want to go into the basket. Righty's hunting for their first lead of the game, and we see some good zone entry puck movement. Nate finds a fellow Av, Kale McCarr, who unleashes a howitzer, but no dice. Offensive zone faceoff, rights on a power play, clean draw win, clean pass, one-timer finds a hole, and it is now a 2-1 game. Rube Goldberg chain reaction here, would have been fire. Defenseman's stick explodes, and the blade perfectly connects with Hughes as he scoops it up for a mini pop fly. Could have been a V-neat goal. The left-handed club finding themselves in a similar situation, playing from behind in the third. They once again start to up the pressure a little bit. Pasta enters the zone, gives a handoff to Nate, who locates Panarin trailing this time, and he will not be denied. The lead is doubled from one to two. Great set of chances here for the lefts as Hughes sets up Rantanen, but a flashy and, in my humble honest, uncalled for save by Halak is then followed up by Fox losing the puck in the slot but some great reflexes by Yero to save the rebound. Chances continue to pile up for this team, and so do the ridiculous saves for the righty's netminder. He is playing phenomenal here. 
It took long enough, but they would solve the puzzle and cut the lead down to one from a J-Rob Dolphin dive, giving it back to Halak for his showmanship in the earlier saves. Nate Hustlin wants to close this game out, knocks Cooch away from the rubber, but the lead stays at one. Final 15 seconds, net empty, and again Halak stands tall, making another save with 12 to go, and one final stop with a microsecond on the clock. This is becoming a steep hill to climb for the lefties. Time for game three. Let's see if the lefties can respond. With a 2-0 deficit in the series, the lefties need to avoid losing and they're playing like it early on. The start to this game was a bit of a goaltender duel, which is crazy considering the makeup of these teams. Halak really said, hold my beer, and took over at both ends of the ice. One final chance to break the deadlock for Artemi Panarin, but nope. The second period would not continue the trend of the first as Nate, Panarin, and Pasta all link up to score a beauty and finally snap the goalless drought. Left-handers are entering desperation mode and Hughes almost scores from behind the line. Hughes' name popping up again with a feed from Roman Reigns. His shot is saved, but the rebound from Rantanen is good to tie things up. With the game at 1-1, it again becomes the Halak show who starts stopping everything thrown his way. Wright's trying to get back in the lead. Carlson, a long way from the point, goes for the short side cheese to no avail. And it must be Halloween because we get another treat here. Dolphin dive, a la J-Rob, left mini wheat save by H. A lot to unpack here. A bullet pass is fumbled by Darlene because it's a laser. Then he dishes it off to Hughes, still not under control. Nylander gets a breakaway by knocking him off, but he fails. The tie will be broken by Braden Point off a no look between the legs pass from Fox. Absolutely disgusting. Fox trying to be a part of the lead extension as well has the puck handed off to him from Kale McCarr and he sends it. Stop is made, but then a bounce find should be a capital. Philip Forsberg looking bad for the lefties. What does the Fox say? Just having fun out here. Two goal lead, eight minutes left. This man is confident with that skate kick deke and it almost turns into a goal. Connor been relatively quiet so far, gains the line, tries to set up Cooch, but the door is still shut. Net empty once more. Panarin puts it in. All of a sudden, the lefties have their backs right up against the wall. A 4-1 victory puts the right-handed squadron in full control of this series. Game four, and it is do or die for the Little Rock lefts. That's a weird word to say. Not the start the lefters were hoping for. Super early in this one, Nate puts the puck on net. It's stopped by the glove, but the puck has eyes. Goes up and over Halak. And this is the longest replay of all time. But I promise you it does have... Pass it, could you please move? Thank you. You're in the shot. Yeah, keep going. Nice. Great. There it is. In the net. It is 1-0 for the righties. Willie Nye with a chance to add on top of that lead from the faceoff. But he is turned away. Another draw chance for the righties. Halak went into splits for the pass, which didn't get through, but as a result, he ends up making the save on the personal bubble shot. With their hopes now on the line, one game away from elimination, the lefts gotta get going, and JT Miller makes it happen. One final chance in the first frame. A low shot from Nate is saved, and the rebound's there, but great positioning by Theodore. All things considered, pretty boring second period, but a centering pass from Chucky is denied. Matthew scoops it up and feeds Rye for an absolute snipe, their first lead of the game. This third period's gonna get wacky, so put your seatbelt on. Miko flies one from the slot, beats Yarrow high blocker side. The left boys turn this into a three-goal game with Kirill receiving a pass down low, tosses the backhand towards the net, Charmac fumbles the cylinder past his own goaltender. You can't be doing that. And yet here we are. One of these drawn out replays yet again. But this time we don't have anyone blocking the shot. To his credit, maybe he was bumped off that puck. And it is really unfortunate that it went as he was getting up. But it is what it is. C'est la vie. The trailing team isn't just going to let this one slip away that easy. Will Nye, the hockey guy, buries one and then defies physics. Name a more iconic duo. Not long after, they bring this back to a single goal lead with a good four check. Lefts fail to clear the zone, and Nathaniel makes the pay for it. Call him Beyblade, because he let it rip. Pressure continues. Pasta cuts back, threads the needle to find Charmac, but he gets robbed. Now three minutes to go. Defender has his stick shattered with a foxy OT. 
that would lead to struggles in front of the net and Mark Stone fresh off the IR for this series ties it up. The team is absolutely relentless trying to put the nail in the coffin and go for the clean sweep. Great save by Yarrow to keep the lefties alive but with 20 seconds left tragedy strikes and the hand eye of Jackery Eichel is put to the test. He passes with flying colors to officially seal the deal, and this is not the outcome I was expecting whatsoever. I really didn't know who was going to win, but if you told me it was going to be a sweep, I would have called you crazy. A well-earned W, though. Coming back from three goals down in the third period, they rallied. Congratulations. I'm going to throw some stats up on the screen here just for anybody who is curious in that kind of thing. It also affords me the opportunity to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're on the road to 60,000. Might take us a couple years to get there, but we will. Making these kinds of videos has actually been pretty fun. So if you have another idea for a tournament or just a head-to-head, -head, go ahead, let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to let me know if you're enjoying the video format. Again, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.